he was like a science teacher or math yeah, teacher yeah, or yeah, something. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I used to see him in there. I was never a big Sabello guy. I was like, oh. I was a big Barone guy. You know, he right. was my seventh sure. grade teacher. Yeah. He showed me how to shoot. You know, I lucked out because he was my seventh grade teacher. And right. we were tight. We were, when I got left back, I went to his class. Uh-huh. And he fucking hated me. Really? And then he's like, how's it feel? How are you going to feel I'm sitting in that class? He was torturing me. Yeah. So I stole his keys after school, and I threw them in the dumpster and behind the Kimley. <laughs> and about four hours later, he shows up at my house. Where's my fucking keys? I can't even get in my car. And I don't know what the fuck <laughs> you're talking about. See you in September, bitch. <laughs> and I thought I was going to go to the eighth grade. No. I got left back and ended up in his class. Wow. So when I walked in the first day of school, I thought I was dead. Yeah. He never mentioned it again. And once I found out he was in the Hall of Fame. And yeah, yeah. He had done all that basketball stuff. So the free stuff. throws in a row at 73 or something. I, I went in the yellow pages, and I would call him up at night and ask him for tips. And he would say, how did you get my number? <laughs> and I'd call him up until one day he said, come to my house Friday at 2. I took a bus up to 92nd Street, and we went to his house, and he showed me how to shoot. And we yeah. became, I, I took him to the premiere of grudge match. Right, right, right. Three right, years yeah, ago. Yeah, That's how great. tight I yeah. am with Barone. Man. Yeah. So, we so, interviewed him for the Yeah, I was going to say, was it the same the house? Documentary. We went to the house. Was it, it was that house? No. He lived, that, was his, that was his house. We went to his mother's house. Like That was my real basketball was Barone. You right. Know? And then even if he took over, I knew. I just did. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. know what's funny? That you talk about all this stuff being positive. You talk about being negative. Since I was a kid, I've always been very honest. And I was always very honest with myself. You know, freshman year, I think, going into sophomore year, I said, okay, my father was 6'4", my mother's 5'2". <laughs> you know, well, how tall am I really going to be? Will I right. be six feet tops? Let's pretend I get to be six feet. That means I got to be one of the quickest fucking guards in the NBA. Yeah, yeah. Now, I was always quick, but not fast. There's a big right. fucking difference. There's a big difference between having quickness to cover somebody right. in the paint or there than me having to catch up to you once you it's shake. F- it's 50 feet wide, so 94 said, feet it. long. That's number right. two, yeah, I'm yeah. white. Number three, I'm white. <laughs> you know, I had kicks. I did have kicks because I worked at it. Right, right. There was a point where I had like a 40-inch vertical jump. Like when I was in the eighth grade, I was already grabbing the rim at right. 38th Street Field. Like, people were going crazy. I was missing the dunk by a fucking pussy here <laughs> because it was 9 foot 10, the rim. <laughs> but I couldn't, you know, yeah. but at least I could grab the rim. Right. At the high school, yeah. Yeah. I was windexing and shit my freshman year. Oh, yeah, 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 that was because, big. That was yeah, big. because yeah, sure. I fucking yeah. worked on my legs. You know, yeah. I, do, I did the weights. Bill Foster told me I did the sprints. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever they told me to do, I did to the fucking T. So it was just really weird that I just said to myself, all I wanted out of basketball was to play in the national championship game. That's all I ever wanted. My dream was to start. It's a big goal. That's, 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 that's big. That's a yeah. big one. I did not want to go to the yeah. NBA. I didn't want to do nothing. I wanted to be like Gregory Kelser. Right. From Michigan right. State. Who's a great guy, by the way. He, right, that's what I heard. Yeah, he, he's a great guy. He's, he's still part of the Pistons uh, broadcast well, team. He's a great guy. Because, yeah, he played like four games and that was it. Like, he just, in the, in the college, he was great. But yeah. in the NBA, he just fell apart. You know, and it happened sometimes. But that's all I wanted. Uh, from the time I saw yeah. them announce. Michael Corn his freshman year from Jersey City, New Jersey. My head almost exploded. And you know who else was in that game? And our buddy Jim Hager reminded me of this. One of the last conversations we had, I forgot to mention this guy, Marquette and Jimmy Boylan. Jimmy Boylan. Who now is an assistant with the Cavs. So he's been he's been with the Cavaliers for... Where was Jimmy Boylan from? Jersey, Jersey City? City. He was another Jersey City guy, right. yeah. Older yeah. than everybody. Yeah. And who yeah. did he play for? He play, he, so he, I think he, he went to Assumption... Before Marquette, Division II school in New England, believe it or not.